Hi friends, welcome to another episode of Ask the Guitar Teacher. Um, today I want to talk about something that I think is really important for guitar players, which is to learn things that are not guitar parts from other songs and other pieces. So one quick example would be something like this, you know. Little Mozart there, eine kleine Nachtmusik. Um, then things like this, uh, this is the synth part from Comfortably Numb, uh, the D, A, and then C, G chords. So instead of, you know, there is no pain you all that, um, it's the synth part, which is really beautifully outlines the D chord and then the A chord. Each of those just has one note added to the triad itself. So a regular D triad would be this adding an E note in there, which is the second note of a D uh, scale. So it's a A, F sharp, E, D, and then uh, this is like an A sus 4 to A. Um, so we're going from 4 to 3 there, so it's the 1, 5, 4, 3 on the A chord. And then that repeats on the D, then takes the A down to the 5th, third, second, or ninth, and then root. So it's essentially like combining scale and chord bits. And then we go to the C and the G. So it's a similar theme, but and then you ascend the G triad. So G, B, D, G, and then same C. to the D and A. And if that's too easy for you, you can also try to sing over that, you know. There is no pain you see. I didn't warm up my voice. A distant ship smoke on the horizon. for mistakes. It's also good to work that with a metronome too to get the timing really solid. Uh, another cool example that I like to use a lot, um, this is a song that I always liked. I wasn't ever really a jazz guitar player, although I studied it a fair amount. Um, but I just thought this was like the most beautiful saxophone sound ever recorded. Paul Desmond on the, the Dave Brubeck uh, take five. But the idea, we want to try to make the guitar get all the phrasing and all the nuance that we hear on the recording on the instrument. Um, and by the way, that's analog recording too. So you're gonna have some tape saturation, some warmth there that, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to get with digital recording these days, but. Like how hard do you play the notes? So those are a couple examples, a uh, few examples of learning some tunes that are not typically played on the guitar um, and, and just some melodies. And I also think we should learn um, the vocals from songs like uh, some of my favorite rock singers are Chris Cornell and Maynard, uh, love Stevie Wonder, like Whitney Houston, um, Chris Cornell, like any of the Beatles. Um, 
Joe Cocker, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, you know, uh, if you took like a Ray Charles thing, that's a... the keyboard part, you know, and then it, all off the E, but you know, his vocals. So the notes are, they're imperfect, but that makes them way cooler, you know? So if he just said, you know, tell me what I say, you know, just tell me what I say, but tell me what I say, you know, kind of get a little stank on that note, you know? It's just so much cooler. 